Hey, we're Gaz and Ange. It's the second of our three-part New York series. Last week was travel day and our first reactions to the Big Apple. There's some crazy people here in Times Square. Over the next six days, we're going to be exploring some of the amazing attractions in the Big Apple. We get up close and personal with the Statue of Liberty. We see the Christmas windows at Macy's and we go to the craziest room we've ever been in our lives. This is insane. We are now in Essa Bagel. And I have to admit, I already feel like this is for the win. Oh my so god. We've gone for the pepe, which is bacon, beef. Look at that. Steam and everything. I've gone for a sesame bagel, you've gone for, for a garlic, garlic bagel. It has big garlic like, wow. put, like chunks on it. So these are $32 for two of them. Okay, this wins so far. You have so many choices of bagels with it, like, like them cream cheeses were insane, weren't they? I really want to try a cinnamon bagel with a cinnamon, apple cinnamon, cream cheese. Like, how good would that be? Yeah, we like chocolate chip, we've got Oreo, maple bacon. Mm-hmm. You know what we have at home? Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. That's what we have. Just Philadelphia. I've never seen so much meat before a bagel in my entire life. No, and the, it was that beef was just oh. phenomenal. We gotta go somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. The brand new Starbucks Reserve that is opening today. So we are now in the Empire State Building in the Starbucks Reserve. So if anyone doesn't know, Starbucks Reserve is basically a Starbucks on steroids. And there's only, I think this is the seventh one to open in the whole world. Yeah, so it's kind of refinery. They make blend coffees here and stuff, and they have specialized on this entire like area. It's a three-story yeah. building. It's crazy. It's it- massive. So upstairs bar and restaurant, yep. this level is the shop and downstairs where you can do the experiences like cocktail making class, coffee making class. I learned how to make coffees all different ways. And it's stuff. insane. The lady saw us like wondering, she yeah. said, go downstairs if you want to try the flights and stuff because there's tables down there as well as the experience. There's one coffee which is whiskey infused and they're going to do that as an experience with you here, which is pretty cool. It's all the blend up. Alcohol free martinis as well. Like, yeah. Like she said, there's like loads of different experiences today. And so. she recommended the Empire flight for us, is that yes, right? Yes, that's what she said. I'm down for trying it even though I don't, you don't like, like coffee. coffee. I know, it's like we're doing Starbucks. I'm excited. I'm really excited and I don't know why, because I don't like you coffee. You're like, no, don't like that. Well, let's give it a go. I'm so excited to see how this reaction is. That's nice. <laughs> the smile says otherwise. Strong coffee. Not bad. That's good though. Should have done that one. <laughs> that's really strong. Should have done that. That's amazing. Uh, not on its own. <laughs> not on its own. It's so good. Oh my god, that's so banana. Enjoying that? Enjoy, it's a strong word. Mm. Nice, isn't it? Would you have it again? <laughs> it, 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 was, it, was for the, it was for the experience. We're going to get a Starbucks. Hot chocolate, maybe. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. It's good. Isn't it you don't like coffee? You're doing all right, I reckon. I'm doing all right. I'm trying to make myself like coffee. I figured like, if I just keep drinking it, might start liking it eventually. Yeah. Like get used to it and then start liking it. I mean, I'll be honest. Someone passes me a cold espresso and goes, How, what do you think of it? It wasn't like... It's cold coffee. It wasn't just like coffee that had gone cold, it was like chilled. Yeah. Like, like, like ice. Yeah. Chilled. I can't tell. I think it's like, give me add some sugar to it. Let me add some milk. I'll tell you if it's good or not. And then you got a caramel back with it. And, yeah. And it was good. It was good. Is that the best yellow cab you've ever seen in your life? It's a Tesla yellow cab. That's awesome. We've still got about an hour to burn before we head up to the glass elevator of doom. <laughs> We're dead close to Grand Central Station, so we thought we'd pop in, have a quick look. We've got Christmas markets on, eh? Yeah, should we go and get, we've not had lunch yet, so yeah. we'll we'll sample some Christmas food. I like that idea. I like that idea. Let's head inside. I don't know what's cooler to look at. The Grand Central Terminal building, or the fact that that is where the Avengers assembled for the first time. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I had no idea that was where you were going with that. <laughs> That's where they were though, they were all stood in a circle and it was a really cool shot, remember it? It's such a loser. It was so good. I'm still looking for the Avengers Tower, I can't find it anywhere. This is a train station. It's so amazing. Like, look at the ceiling. It's it Pegasus is look. incredible. I love it's it. It's just a marble and the... It's got to be the most beautiful train station in the world, right? Oh, 100%. Has to be. 100%. And the like, details. how many films have been filmed in yeah. here? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Someone did mention, though, about the Whispering Corners, and we completely forgot it. about it. I had so it on my list. Now. I know, I had it on a, Stupidly made a list. 
that I left at home. I've said this to Anne for years. She's Stop old doing school. It on paper. Stop doing it on paper. Get it on your phone. Therefore, you'll take it everywhere with you. But no. <laughs> Do you know what also makes this the best train station in the world? Yeah. No. An Apple store. Just up there. He sneakily got me to walk up there and everything. I was like, let's have a look. Let's have a picture up there. Let's have a picture up there. Ooh, yeah. look at that, there's an Apple store. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I was expecting like in this concourse here to be full of like, like Christmas chalets. Like little Christmas market. Like cute yeah. wooden log little mini things. That's what we had in our head. Yeah, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. No, it's like an exhibition. Yeah, isn't it? It's like exhibition stands. That's yeah. exactly what I thought. And I don't think there was any food. Yeah. So there you go. There's all the vendors that they've got at the uh, central markets. As we came out of Grand Central, we saw those at Lost Tacos number one and we were like, oh, this is on the list, this is on the list, let's get that for our lunch. The queue was insane. Yeah, it was mental. Insane. You, know, you always tell it's a good place in New York because there's a queue outside it. Anywhere there's a queue, you know the food's good. Yeah. Oh, it's so spicy. The pork one. Wow, we head off. Oh, very good. Though. Very, very good. good. Pork, eight out of ten. Chicken, nine, nine out, out of ten. I think I preferred the flour tortilla. Yeah, so. I'd go with the flour tortilla, but yeah. they were good. I want another one. Not queuing again though. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're off to uh, Summit to go on the lift of doom. You're having me on, you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're going up the outside of that and it's last time we do it. Oh, no, Ange, no. Right, no. 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 <laughs> no. That's okay. stupid. So, I wasn't nervous to listen at the moment. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no. What do you think is going to happen? You I'll tell you what I think is going to happen. I'm going to have to change underwear after it. <laughs> what I think is going to happen. This stuff looks amazing on Instagram. We're <laughs> like, yes, we're going here. It was Summit 1. This place only just opened, doesn't it? A year. It had celebrated its year's birthday yeah. like a week before we got here. And it is the funkiest place that you'll ever see. If you have vertigo, look away now. Pigeons. Pigeon just hit me. Pigeons. <laughs> Right. This is insane. This is crazy. So Absolutely mental. 91 stories up in the air. It took about 15, 20 oh, seconds to get the best players. It's like popping it's a bit like crazy. And this is the mirror room, so both the floor and the ceiling are mirrors, which give this like crazy. They're like you've got spring sunglasses. Yeah, you can see why. And I was like, yeah, sunglasses, guys. I brought mine. Like, Paint the sky with light. Guys are showing all the mirrors. We were just showing him the Empire State Building. So this is three stories, but for different. It's basically like an art exhibition. So this is like the mirrors. There's different things. We'll take you around. We'll show you each one. What's the cool out? It's to do with your senses. It's like stimulate your senses. Yeah. We thought we were going to head um, off the ascent, which is basically that dark glass elevator. But they said that's at the end. So does that mean that that's 91 stories up and higher? This is the highest part, so I actually think that it might be higher. Right, so now the next bit is the real reason why we booked it. The only reason we booked it. It's like a ball pit with zero gravity. This is what we saw on like Instagram. It's like, shiny balls. So this is probably the reason the thing that you've seen multiple times on our Instagram already. Paint the sky with light. I think I've just peaked at my best ever toilet experience I'm ever going to have in my life. Because, like, literally, if you were brave enough to leave the cubicle door open, the views whilst you go into the toilet <laughs> are, one in there, are ridiculous. That's not bad. And, please, can you not lean on the window? It's worrying me a little bit that that plane glass is the only thing that's saving you from like instant death. You're about to stand on a plane of glass and go up even higher over nothing, so. No, I'm not. I'm leaning away. No, 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 no. Oh, don't. The 
Imagine that. God. <laughs> no. Right, we've been called to the glass death trap of doom. If this is it, I'm genuinely shaking. <laughs> Trying to hold the camera. I'm shaking. You can film it, so get a lot of height. Pretend you're filming it, but it's not real. Okay. I'll just hold that. Yeah. Oh my god, I could kiss the ground right now. I wanted to see all the way to the ground. I, mean, I wanted to see like I'll push your stories up. Yeah, I'll admit, that. I think that's what, that's what I was expecting. Oh, you didn't get that. And there's no way in this world you'd ever get me on that one, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I couldn't be one of the window cleaners. How did a leaf get you from 90, 93 stories up? Gaz is being a brave boy. He's gonna look down. He's got a foot on. He's got both feet on. No, He's on. But look down. <laughs> you okay there? Frozen. Come on. Let's go get our drink. So as part of the packages that we took out here for Summit One, it included cocktail. It was like an extra eighteen dollars each for a cocktail. And we're like, do you know what? Let's give it a go. So we had our cocktails here, but we didn't realise was the view of the cocktail. Oh, you know what we're gonna do then? I was still gonna say it and just go around like buddy hell. That and just It's so good. Where's the Gideon? It's good. Gideon is good. So good. So good. You know what? Aladdin's in this movie, right? Very good. Very good. <laughs> He's skinny though, he's got skinny ones. They are so abs. Never thought I'd have a conversation with that to be able to stab. How was Aladdin done? That was so good. I loved it. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, holy world was the best oh, part. Oh, that was by far the best part of that show. Day three of New York. And this day started exceptionally well. With the Statue of Liberty. It's like what nine o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Because I put the wrong time. Yeah, we made it though. We were early. Can yeah. you believe it? The car shows were early for something. I know. At nine o'clock <laughs> in the morning. We were originally going to do the eleven o'clock one, but we knew that it was going to be busy. The nine o'clock one is the first one, and we're literally what about oh, thirty? Oh, about thirty people in front of us, and that's it. <laughs> there ain't many better views than that, is there? Of Liberty. Like, museum inside it. Yeah, like the pedestal part. So we, we're not allowed bags in. So no. we, we already went through um, security when we were getting on the boat, didn't we, yeah. to get to the island. And it's like airport security. So we had to do all that. We then got to the island, came straight here. We had to put our bags in a locker. And we just 25 cents, make sure you had it because we didn't. And some very lo lovely person gave us 25 cents so we could come in because otherwise, I don't know what we'd have done. They'd have to come separately, probably. Yep, and then we had to go through another security, like airport security. So it's very, very light. Very strict, yeah. which is you would expect. Yeah. So we're going up 176 stairs now, just to the pedestal, and then I believe we've got another 160 odd steps to the top of the crown. So one that, step today. That so if that's it, it's not many. We're very unfit. We did a lot of walking. And we're only there. <laughs> and we're going up there. <laughs> all the way up there. 67 steps so just to get just to that. These, there's three of them in this little area that we're in. On the statue on the pedestal. That's crazy. It's 60 foot tall each one. Right. 162 stairs to go. <laughs> Look how narrow they are. Oh my God, they're really, really like high step. So this is now the spiral staircase that takes us up to the top of the ground. 
Good fun. There's, a, there's still 140 to go. Let's do it. We made it. We made it. That was hard. I'm scared of going back down though. Yeah, whistling. It's shaking. Yeah. You can feel it's wobbling. Really moving. I'd like it just to show you. Just out here. There you go. There's the, there's the hand with the torch there. Well, I know before they were testing, they were creating out some, something behind. But I didn't know that was going to happen. It moves. It moves. It moves. Yeah. Now that was an experience. Yeah. I literally trying to go down that spiral staircase with one hand. Like, shaking a little bit. Oh, yeah. Stuff. That was. Some... It was hard going up, but yeah. not scary. No. It was easy coming down, but the most scariest thing ever. Yeah. Are you glad you did it though? I'm so glad we did yeah. it. So glad I was. My legs were a little bit shaky when we were in the top because yeah. it was moving. Yeah. And I was like, oh. And I expected it to be bigger in the ground. Yeah, it was tiny, wasn't it? It was really small. And as well, we managed to FaceTime Molly whilst we, we were up did. there. Which I was so happy about. Look at her. It's crazy. That is mental. That's crazy. I'm so glad that we've done this. Yeah. I'm so glad. It. Yeah, we never got to do it last time. But wow, this is so impressive. Do you know what? Really enjoyed that. That was really good. Learned a lot as well. Yeah. Like Mr. Eiffel built the Eiffel Tower. He was like, it will stand, don't you worry. Yeah, he designed something to make sure that the weight of the copper was able to go on the like internal stuff. Yeah, and seeing the mesh on the inside, that was amazing. Yeah, that was just crazy, wasn't it? Seeing like all the inside yeah. and all the bolts and like literally what's holding it to the base. So these are the bolts that hold the statue onto the pedestal. These are the tension bar that we showed you before, these are the bolts that hold them on. And Ange also told me. It didn't used to be green when it yeah. was first put in. That's the just oxidization of the copper. That's crazy. turned it green. Yeah. It used to be proper copper coloured. Okay that. <laughs> We do have one little tip, which yes. we think might work for most people. Yes. By the time the 11 o'clock boat arrived, oh, it was, it was rammed. really busy on the island. Yeah. So We managed to scoot around there without any queues, no, any crowds. Nobody in the background for our pictures or anything. Yeah, was... so get the earliest slot yeah, I reckon. if you can. Just get up early on that day. If you don't want to actually pay to go on the island and you just want to get close to it, that is the Saturn Island Ferry, which is there. That is free to go on. So you literally just go all the way to the other end and come back and it goes past the Statue of Liberty, doesn't it? It does. But to be honest, I don't think what we pay if you book it through like the proper um, New York City cruises. Yeah. It was only twenty four dollars each, and that included pedestal and crown. So I don't think it's too bad. Uh, and Ellis Island as well. Yeah. Okay, third instalment of the bagel competition. This is Leo's bagels. So what we're doing with the bagel challenge is we've gone to TripAdvisor, looked at the top 10 bagel restaurants in New York. And if they're near to where we are, that's the one we're choosing. Yes, yeah, so we've still got another two to go. Then we'll rank them at the end of the video, and let you know which ones we think is the best. Complete coincidence, we're at the New York Stock Exchange in yeah. Wall Street. We're taking our bagels ready to eat. Wow. So we brought our bagels from Leo's down to the New York Stock Exchange to eat them, because that's just the first place that we found benches. Yeah, literally. There you go. That's yes. the New York Stock Exchange. Oh my God. Bring that in here. Look at the size. It's <laughs> Like literally. Wow. That's crazy. Mine's just all nice and neat and wrapped up. Look. Look at mine. Oh, that looks good. That looks so good. Because that's an everything bagel. Go on, open it up. Let's have a look in the middle of it. There we go. That looks good. So, one good thing about sitting and just stopping in people watching is sometimes a massive tour group come past and you, can and you learn guys. something new. So there's a statue called the Fearless Girl that was originally installed next to the Charging Bull statue um, back in 2017 for women empowerment for International Women's Day. And basically what happened is that the sculpture complained that it didn't look right with a small girl in the big bull. So they took her out in 2018 and have now put her outside the New York Stock Exchange. She looks like she's looking up at the stock exchange, yeah. like when I'm older, that's yeah. what I'm doing. The fearless girl. After we had our bagels, we went for a long walk and found ourselves at the 9-11 memorial. Yeah. Still gives me chills being at that place. It's got a strange atmosphere there. Yeah. One of the things we do need to mention though is the white roses that are on the monument. Uh, they signify that that person who's on the monument is their birthday that day. And then what they actually do is they sell the flags that they put up at the memorial. Um, so then the people who pay for that 
then goes towards the upkeep of the memorial, like the flowers and stuff like that. Yeah. But it is such a unique place. It's definitely something that you need to come to. But like, it has just a, it's just a, it's a, it's sad being yeah, there. It, it is. It feels like a, a sad air. Yeah, and it brings you back. I mean, I still remember the day that that happened. Exactly where you were. We didn't stay there too long though. No, we didn't. And then after that, we then moved on a bit further up town. And as we were going, we were planning on going to the Ghostbusters um, shop. Yes, there's a Ghostbusters shop, which is the, the fire engine station, which Anne told me is still an actual fire station. Yeah, like, that's what Google says. Yeah, but on the route there, I was like, Anne, can you do me a favour? And she's like, well, I need to go a couple of streets up the road. And she's like, why? Said, because Casey Nice at Studios there. All right, they should be here any minute. Don't see them yet. There it is. studio when he's in. <laughs> Casey's the reason that Gaz fell in love with YouTube. Yeah, and just vlogging in general. The guy is the absolute master of it. And just to sit there and look at his studio, the lights are on, I was like, I might get to see him. We didn't. I mean, I'm glad I didn't really, because I'd have looked like a proper stalker, but like, <laughs> it was it was so cool to see it. And it's just like, you're the reason why we're doing this. And then, yeah, we, we just kind of went past that, went up to Ghostbusters. It was closed, wasn't it? It was. It was, it was this closed. Because well, we were going to get Ollie like a jumper or something. Yeah, he loves Ghostbusters at the minute. Okay, I'm just going to warn you all now. You're about to see a kid in a candy shop. Now, you thought Apple was my favorite ever store. Oh, no, no. We're going to B&H, which is the biggest camera store in the world. Oh, my days. So I was going to give you context on how big this store is. That was just at the store and... <laughs> so this is part of the second floor. So not only is this the coolest store in the world in terms of camera equipment, but all of the equipment when it comes out and you come to, to buy it, it goes across these like go-kart tracks. It's so cool. It's like your sushi for camera equipment. <laughs> and then next was another recommendation from Instagram. And oh my gosh, the people that put, there was so many people on our Instagram poll that put this on and thank you so, <laughs> so much for doing this. We went to Magnolia Bakery. And I got the banana bread pudding and you got the apple, apple crisp, crisp pudding. pudding. And oh! This is the best thing ever. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm so glad we asked people on Instagram where to go. Every single thing I've bought so far has just been amazing. And then as we were heading back up, we went past Macy's just by chance. So we thought we'd have a quick pop in, see what it's like. We were going to get Ollie a teddy, weren't we? Or yeah. a plushie or yeah, we're a reindeer have a vlog. or something, but it was too big. And then, uh, yeah, because they have like a Toys R Us bit, which is right at the top of the store. So we, we came back down and we're like, Oh, it looks like there's something going on outside. And oh boy, was there something going on outside. <laughs> there was like press, ABC News was there. Or was it Fox News that was the, there? Pretty much the all entire of, national the news was there because Macy's had only just that, that second opened up the windows ready for Christmas. Oh, feel your plate and feel your drink and fill this house with family. The kind of love that all these years can't wash away. So these people here. It's going to have a picture now. I just heard them having a conversation about how excited they were to show it off to everyone, and that this specific one, if any of the elements break, it's all sealed, and they're not going to be able to get to it to make it work again. So they were like, it always happens on opening day, but look at everyone, and they're dead excited that everyone's here, like looking at the windows. That was cute. We were having such a good time until the designers. Of oh, the store. I was FaceTiming my mum to show it. Her. And then literally, they were the, just literally right behind, just us. behind us, and they let they let off confetti. party con, uh, yeah party confetti cannons. I didn't think of party confetti cannons. No. Didn't they? Genuinely thought something bad about me. I'm not gonna lie. Such a nice something up. My mum said my what face. Was what was that? My she said my face just was shit. Panic. All the stuff were like, oh my god, what have we just done? I don't think they knew it was gonna be that no, loud. They definitely did. It was like five massive explosions. Yeah, yeah they definitely won't be doing that again.
And once again, we've filmed way too much. So we're <laughs> going to have to end it here for this week. And until next time, we'll see you on the next adventure. Catch you later. Bye.